welcome back comrades and good morning to you because it's like nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> i hope you guys are doing great and today we're making a video on my freedom shelter uh systems that i have and i have three of them uh one of them you have not seen yet and we're just going to compare all three of them and this is actually from one of my subscribers uh alex had mentioned to me about maybe possibly doing a comparison video of my Ecotats or my Freedom Shelters. And that was a really good idea. And uh, so here we are. Thank you, Alex, for that suggestion as well. So, I've got three Freedom Shelters. Now, we're not gonna go into super detail, you know, the, what kind of fabric it is and all this and that. I'm gonna go over as much as I can with you guys. And uh, I'm gonna show you the differences in all three of them. And there's, I'm going to show you a couple, a couple complaints that I guess I would have with them. And uh, we'll get to that in a little bit as we go through them. But uh, i got to figure out how we're going to do it, how we're going to look at them. But we're going to go through all three of them and we're going to check them out. So uh, I'm going to take you over to them, okay? I'm over here in the woods because it's a little windy out where I have them. I have them out in the field back there. And uh, so you get a good, nice view of them. So, all right, with that said, let's go check them out. So there they are, all three of them in their, in their beautifulness. So we'll just start from left. This is one you haven't seen yet. And it's a mystery. But there's the first Freedom Shelter. There's the one that I've slept in a few times that you've seen, that's the Ecotat. And that one right there is the one I did an overnighter in. And that's the Wiggy's Freedom Shelter. So with this one right here, what's interesting it's kind of a mystery to me still. When I bought it, this was the uh, the bag the poles came in. It's the it's the Easton pole bag because the poles are Easton poles. But it was labeled on eBay as a EcoTap Freedom Shelter. But I'm gonna check this out. This sticker was on it, and it says EcoTap ICS uh, Wiggy. If I can get it still here for you. So. If you guys, I'll put a link up on the screen, but if you remember the history of these, I'd mentioned that Wiggy's made, either either they made some of the shelters or the sleeping bag that goes to the shelter for uh, the US Marines, for the Marines um, Recon Division. So what I'm thinking, because we don't use Woodland Campbell in the United States anymore, I mean, we don't produce it no more. What I'm thinking is that's one that might've been made for the Marines. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's an older model. But it's brand new, it's, it's, it's not even used. So that's the kind of mystery I have. But I'll make sure I put a link up here that you guys can see that first video I did if you haven't seen it, especially for my new subscribers. So yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and start comparing these. Okay, this is the uh, Wiggy's Multi-Cam um, Freedom Shelter. And this is the front vent flap on this model. It's got a big wide open vent here. And that's the front, and it just Velcros right there and right there. And then you have another layer that you can bring it down to if you really need to cinch it tight. But I'll be honest, that seems very tight to try to bring that down. So what I'm thinking this is for is for when you have it in the trop tropical configuration for those second Velcro pieces. Moving on to the back, another vent, a little smaller in size. Same Velcro, and for the tropical configuration, that's what I'm assuming those are for. And we'll do a video on that too eventually. I'll send them up the tropical configuration. Okay, moving on to the EcoTap version, which is the first one that I bought. This is a EcoTap, not a Wiggies. But this is the vent, the front vent. And this one's a little different. If you just listen here. It's got a little snap thing here and you just press it and it goes it goes back down just pop it up it's like a piece of plastic and it just snaps shut like that i can see this eventually breaking after a lot of use moving on to the back of the eco tat same thing same vent just spread it open your hands snap shut 
And it snaps open pretty good. It's not too hard to open up, so. Okay, moving on to the mysterious one, the EcoTat or the Wiggies made for EcoTat, Freedom Shelter. This is the exact same setup as the Wiggies, <laughs> which is right there. So I'm thinking this was made by Wiggies for the military. So same vent, same thing, same Velcro spots. Velcro down. And I'm assuming these are for when you have in the tropical configuration. Be on to the back. Same thing, same vent. Both configuration or both Velcro spots there. Okay, so before we go any farther, I want to show you right off the bat a complaint that I have with the Wiggies version of these freedom shelters. Right here with this vent. What I see happening, especially like if it's windy or raining, well, say it's windy and it's raining, rain getting in through here, because that's a huge opening, a vent opening. The only thing I see this, this freedom shelter lacking at the moment is like a Velcro spot right up here. Maybe if they would make this a little bit looser, the flap that comes down and put a Velcro spot here, and that way it would seal it shut. Because what I see happening is the wind coming in here and bam, just spraying water all in there on both sides. And same thing with uh, the other one down there. But with this one, this one's completely sealed shut. So ain't no rain gonna get in there. At least when you have it down. Okay, moving on to the hood. And like I said, if you guys don't, if you guys have never seen my videos, I'm gonna put links up in the screens for you guys, especially for my new subscribers, so you know what this hood is for. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail just because of time and stuff, but like I said, it's just a comparison video. Okay, so with that said, here's your hood. Just a regular uh, buckle. I forgot there's a name for these, I can't remember the name of them. But you just sense that shut, and that's the buckle it uses. Okay, moving on to the EcoTap version. This buckle is a little different. It's not a uh, rocket bucket or rocket buckle. It's like a, it's almost like an ITW buckle you see on the military gear. And last but not least, the Wiggies EcoTat Mystery One. Same kind of buckle as the last one on the EcoTat, which is weird. <laughs> so I don't know. This is interesting. This has got me, I guess. Um, very curious <laughs> so there you go okay moving on to the zippers on the wiggies version you have a larger ykk zipper teeth which is really nice and that goes the whole length the whole length of the shelter here that's really nice nice and big teeth that's the whole length of the side what's interesting is the front zipper on this thing is just regular teeth. I am not sure why they use regular teeth and not the big teeth. I'm actually noticing these things now. I haven't really looked this thing over as much, so I'm glad I'm doing this video. But yeah, those are small teeth on the front, big teeth on the side. On the back, small teeth as well. Moving on to the EcoTap version. This has small teeth, the whole length of it. And if you notice from one of my other video, my first overnight I did this, I had trouble with the zipper here catching right there. See, it catches. That's the only thing I don't like about this, but it's not, it's not a huge deal. Onto the front, you have the same zipper, small teeth, and the back as well, small teeth. Moving on to the mystery EcoTat, possibly a Wiggies made for EcoTat. You have small teeth again, work just fine. And that goes the whole length of it. Onto the front here, same thing. 
Small teeth. And the back as well. Small teeth. On the wiggies, you have a guy line there. And you have a guy line right here in the back. You have guy lines on the on the vents. You have guy lines here. Same thing in the front vent. The Eco Tab version, you have a guy line right up here, just like the Wiggies. You have a guy line here, and I got some paracord already on there. You have a guy line guideline here on the side moving on to the mystery eco tab possibly made by wiggies <laughs> you have guideline here and the guidelines on the vents just like the wiggies version you have guidelines guideline here and two more in the vent moving on to the wiggies poncho hood you can also use this as a guideline too when you cinch this shut like that, you could wrap a, a stake right here and stake it out that way as well. Same with the EcoTap version. And also the Mystery Wiggies Posse Made EcoTap version. <laughs> there is one more variation that I don't have and that's the original one that was made in, I believe, the late 80s or mid 80s. I don't have that one. I think that one's gonna be really hard to find. I believe this is the version here that was made after the original one they made in the 80s for the military as an experimental system. Is this really ugly looking woodland camo? It's like spray painted on. <laughs> but I think that's the one they made afterwards. From what I've seen and watched on the original one they made, it was a heavier, almost like Gore-Tex material, but I heard it wasn't Gore-Tex, but it was light Gore-Tex. It was a lot heavier than what we have here. And uh, we're gonna look at these fabrics next. So let's check out the fabric. So here is one of the instructional booklets that came with my shelter, the Wiggies version, the multi-cam that I have. So here is the fabric they're saying for the Wiggies version. It's 100% polyester warp and filling. 70 denier 34 filament, Weight 2.1 ounces per square yard. Grab tinsel pounds, warp 90 by fill 50. Trap tear pounds, warp 9 by fill 8. Coating is a three pass system of an aliphatic urethane solution, which is waterproof and fire retardant. That's really cool. It says colors solid color block or OD camouflage, but we know that mine's a, a uh, multi cam or OCP. The tent size is eight feet, 2.45 meters long by 38 inches, 93 centimeters wide by 24 inches, 62 centimeters height. Rolls to 17 inches, 43.4 centimeters long by five inches, 12.9 centimeters in diameter. Approximate weight is four pounds, 1.8 kilograms in carry bag. Poles are the shock corded Easton pre-bent aluminum alloy, 7075W with T9 temper 96,000 PSI tinsel strength. Stakes, which I don't have, they're just, they just came with those wire skewer stakes, but actually mine came with the yellow Kuglin stakes. Screen is not nylon, no CMS netting, summer screen. The zipper is a YKK EYE 85L coil two-way with double non-locking pulls for side and one single pull slide at the bottom. Two YKK plus coil of double auto lock sliders for the ends. Shot cord is nylon wound or wound, withstands temperatures to minus 20, negative 29 Celsius. That's nice. Seam is all major seams are safely stitched, then double needle needle locked. Stitched, all seams factory hot taped. Webbing, tight weave nylon or polypropylene. This is pretty cool here. It says it can withstand winds up to 45 knots, full bathtub floor, weigh no more than 4.0 pounds. Constructed of a waterproof vapor permeable fire retardant coating material and designed to ensure minimal or minimum internal buildup of condensation. So that would be for this one here. And really the fabric on here, it, 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 it's kind of thin, but not. 
but it feels tough. It's it's a it's tough feeling. It's just really uh, it feels strong. Over here with the EcoTap version, this feels a little stronger than all than all three of them. Uh, it's just it just feels maybe it's a little more tightly woven. I don't know. It just feels a little more heavy duty to me. And then on the EcoTap, the mystery one. It's a thinner fabric. It's almost like the wiggies that I have over here. And uh, I think it is the same, except on the back here, it has more of like a, a rubbery, like a rubbery feeling to it. Not too much, but just a little bit. But it still feels like very good fabric. It's just a little thinner. I prefer something a little more heavier duty, but it's not bad. It's not like paper thin. <laughs> Also, something else to keep in mind with these is that you will have an opening right here. It does not close. So right there, it can leak water too. And they are all, all three of them are like that. And if you hear the play in the background, I apologize. They're here just to mess my video up. I am pretty sure they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> and the same here on the end. It is open as well through there see me if I finger all the way inside so guys there you have it those are the three freedom shelters in the four season configuration and we'll probably do another video sometime um, we'll put them in the tropical configuration now the only problem is that the Wiggies Eco Tap mystery one that I have I don't have a mosquito netting with that one so we'll uh, see if the Eco Tap that I have will fit that one because of their same zippers but uh, yeah, I just basically want to show you guys a quick review or overview, not review, but an overview comparison of these three. Thanks to Alex for mentioning that to me. And uh, yeah, so like I said, the only thing that I've considered with these is on the new ones, which the ones you can still buy brand new today that they still produce are the Wiggies. And they come in ACU, multi-camera OCP, I believe a Coyote Brown and a OD Green. But uh, yeah, and they're expensive. They're like $400. So you might just go off and try with the eco tag. You can find them on eBay over a hundred, but it won't find them any cheaper than a hundred usually. Unless they're in really bad shape. All mine were new, uh, new and unused. So, but next time we get out of here, we'll do tropical configuration. And um, got you guys all over the place here. So I can't think of anything else to show for today. If I'm missing anything, um if there's anything i need anything else i need to show um please let me know and we'll do some more videos like i said we're going to do a test video with the uh one of the multi-camera the the other uh wiggies mystery one to see if it leaks under the vent when it's raining and i got a feeling it is so if you're watching wiggies maybe think about making a velcro piece there on the um vent to seal it shut more on the versions you make today. But either way, it's a great system, I think. Now, kind of the way I look at it is that these aren't gonna be perfect because to me, these systems here are survival and a survival is never gonna always be pretty, but these will get you out of the elements, obviously. They might leak, I don't know. But uh, either way, it gets you out of the elements. It's To me, it's survival and um, it's not gonna be pretty, but we're gonna continue to test these, like I said, in the rain and see if they leak. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring. And uh, if you would guys, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all my videos. And liking and sharing helps my channel out quite a bit. I'm a little over 400 subscribers now and I wanna tell you guys thank you very much. I never thought in a million years that I'd have 400 subscribers. <laughs> So I want to say I've never thought in a million years. I've only been alive for 37 years. So uh, yeah, just uh, it's just nice knowing that you guys like to watch my channel. I really appreciate it. And I thank you guys for coming along with me. So I will see you guys in the next video. And you guys take care and God bless you. See you for now.